If you want to make your own light tent, there are all kinds of plans on the internet for doing this. I chose as a basic tent one of the PVC type plans that I found on the internet, but I wanted to show you some additional features that I put into it because I think it makes it a lot more versatile, a lot more flexible. So I'm going to start out with the basic structure and then I'll show you the uh, things I added to it to make it better. As you can see, the basic setup is just simply a connection of PVC pipes. I used half inch pipes, standard fittings. I used the threaded fitting on the corner so the legs can come out and it can be put away easily. Uh, I had a little bit of a problem gluing it together. It's very hard to get everything exactly even. So what I finally came up with is I would dry fit all of the pieces and then put a piece of blue tape around the place where it was furthest into the joint. Then I'd take it apart again, put the glue on, and I'd only put it into the fitting as, uh, as close as I could to the blue tape. Then I take the blue tape off. So I never had it fully seated and yet I had enough to keep it keep it all even and perfect and that's the way I wanted it. Most of the light tents you see on the internet, the commercial ones, are a cube or they're uh, covered with nylon and what I wanted to do was give myself a little more flexibility. So what I did was I made a rod out of PVC with two caps on it and this allowed me to fit it over the the frame of the light tent. Then this is nylon which is kind of difficult to find. I found this at Joann's. Walmart didn't have it so it's not a common thing but this allows me to slip on the side piece over the rod and then put it over the edge and I can move it back and forth to get the amount of diffusion I want. And uh, you can come up with other panels if you want to. If you have a favorite fabric that uh, will diffuse light well, then you can do that. In any light tent, the backdrop is an important consideration, uh, whatever you want to use for backdrop. Some people use poster boards, some use fabric. I'm going to turn this around so you can see what I did for mine. I put uh, two large cup hooks, and I had to, to bend them a little bit. But what I did was I then made a little bit longer rod and I can put the fabric on the rod and it forms my backdrop. And it's real easy, same loop that's sewn into it. And if I turn it around, you'll see how convenient this is. All I have to do is spread it out with my side panels on there and I have a, a nice fabric backdrop that I can easily change colors for. I also use the clamp type lighting which I got at Home Depot. They're eight, nine bucks and you can now get the CFL bulb, a four pack for ten dollars. These have come down in price considerably. This is a 23 watt, 100 watt equivalent CFL and it's a bright white which is 3500 Kelvin on the the light scale and it diffuses and puts on a really nice light. I'm taking pictures of things that I sell on eBay and I don't like reflection which is what brought me to this light tent project in the first place. So it, it works great and I can take plastic covered uh, objects and, and take a picture of them without any reflection. As far as the frame, I spent about $20 making the frame. As you can see, it fits on a standard car, uh, card table, and it's just a little less deep than it is wide. And I just came up with my own measurements and, and made it uh, to my own dimensions. As far as the fabric, that was the most expensive part of the whole project. I spent about $40 on fabrics, but I have half a dozen different colors for my backgrounds. A uh, fabric that's shiny on one side and, and kind of flat on the other makes something really good because then you can flip it around and use both sides. 
The uh, side stops, as I said, are nylon. And so, so far in tests, this has worked really good. I've put some uh, really nice pictures out on eBay. And so I'm really happy with it. And that's why I wanted to share it. One problem I have is I'm using chairs to clamp the lights to. And this just hasn't worked out well. So I'm getting ready to make a couple of can concrete uh, poles. Uh, you can find them on the internet. It's just a can, paint can or some kind of tin can with concrete in it. And then you put a one by two or equivalent to make your upright. And then you can clamp the lamp onto that. And it's much more sturdy and works really well. Because if you want to move this around, you need that uh, base to work from. Well, if you're going to make your own light tent, I hope this uh, has helped you out. And, and good luck on making yours.